Parker. Hello, my name is Professor Jim James Jameson Kababi. And this is my wonderful colleague, Professor Gregory. That's right. As I like to refer to him as Greg. Um, Corey. But Jim Kababi is, in spite of your differences, my old friend and ally. That's you right. You are stupid college students and, it would and be. are entirely unworthy to be so familiar with me as to call me Greg Lee. It would do well for you to remember that. I'm. If you can't. Professor Greg Lee. Yes. You are privileged to be taught by this learned, teach, taught man. This learned, teach, taught man. That's right. Yeah. So, as you might be wondering, well, aren't you supposed to be working? Well, we are always working. We never stop. And this is back in, which may be why you think we were not working. But today, we bring you a very special news bulletin segment of fake history, I mean history, <laughs> of back in. That's right. Please sit back, do not enjoy, and listen. No, sit forward. Oh, to your forward. back yes. aches. That's right. And do not enjoy. Yes. And do not get the plushes to cuddle with, and do not get the popcorn. No popcorn. Popcorn's bad for your teeth. Proven by scientists. Also, it's not even miserable because you're stupid college students. That's right. You do you. Amen. Jim? Teach us about backgammon. All right. So as you can see, there are two primary colors. One is white. The other is brown. There are no other colors. These are the only two. And this is the way it must be for all times. Now these colors first originated 300, no, 3,000 years ago. Not 300,000. Not 300. Not three. Not 30. Not three. Three million. Not three million. Ooh. Three thousand years ago. By our ancestors, the Nephilim. They chose these colors because they had special meaning to them. White was the color of the sun god. And brown was the color Poop. of their waste. <laughs> Indeed. As in W A S T E. Not waste. As in A I. So People who played by the whites were revered. <laughs> People who played whites were revered. <laughs> oh no. What he's trying to say is the people who played whites were thought to play on behalf of the sun monster, I mean sun god. And people who played the browns <laughs> were meant to be the scum of the earth. Or rather, the poop. <laughs> you, you would probably be, uh, you listeners, you viewers, would represent poop. And we would represent the sun guy. Yes. <laughs> Run! <laughs> okay. Now, now that we have established the history, or the origination of back And the significance of the colors yeah. pertaining thereunto. to them. We must delve into a deeper dive. I learned the word, I learned the word of the meaning pertaining in the dictionary today. Wow. The real dictionary. Yeah. Not the fake dictionary that we're currently working on. Oh, wait, right? that'll be out. That's right. Buy it on Goodreads. That's right. Now, we should dive into the deep, dark history of delving of the dice. Now, what are the purpose of the dice? Please elucidate me, Professor Gregory. The dice was said to indicate the seeming randomness of that which occurs under the sun. Mm. As the die falls, can the ruler say what will happen. And even then, you act it's as though you roll the die.
like to be named after him. I think that's cool. Until you do, do not you? You cannot so patiently see for seedless. That's what I mean. That's true. Yeah. Oh, but as it pertains to bat cannon. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, yeah, I, I feel like I was talking about Tyson then. Oh well, you know, that was also helpful. It was very helpful. And it was... Pertaining to this lesson. Pertaining. Because was, I just learned this from you, yes, too. Yes, of course. Pertaining to this. It was somewhat pertaining. Yes. Well, it's pertaining all the way. That's right. But in backgammon, the dice are meaningless. They're just here to remind the players of... Vanity. Chasing after... Wins. Yeah, their life. That's right. It's worthless. Worthless. Just Im like you. Especially if they play with brown. Oh, if yeah. If they play with white. Mm -hmm. It's true. Then they're idolaters in your life. It's basically a fact. It's, you know what? And history. That's right. And my feelings don't care about your facts. Yeah. Now, for our next second segment bulletin. Or third of the history of backgammon, we have these oddly shaped containers. That is the word. I learned you that word also today. Oh wow! And and you may think, well, maybe we're supposed to put something in the containers like these, or maybe these that do not fall into the container. But that does not matter because they do not go in the containers. That's right. These containers were made out of dead human skin by the Nephilim in the first hundred century BC. The lining is made by the fluffy hairs of the Nephilim. This is authenticated Nephilim skin right here. This is probably worth 200, Buddha at bucks. least 200 Buddha bucks. It is very cool, I would say. But you may be wondering, well, why would they create this to have this container, which we have just learned a new word, why would they create this container to not contain anything? Well, we see. Since white is representing the sun god, and since it's better than poop, white usually, actually, always wins. So when white beats the brown, the poop. They're so sad. They're broken up. And we have learned by swabbing the inside of these containers. Professor Gregory, the scientist, has done it himself and conducted numerous studies, hasn't he? Yes, I've partnered with um, um, Dr. Dr. Will, Dr. Willard, I think. It's oh, called. he's a good man. He runs a big laboratory upstate. Mm -hmm. well, Go check it out for him. You Shout can get your, you can get your um, picture taken from him. Mm. Graduation photos. Birthday photos. Random wedding photos. photos. He has a good wedding. Divorce, divorce photos. Those are the best. Those <laughs> are my favorite. I go and watch those sometimes. Once the player representing the sun god wins, the other player representing poop is so distraught that he cries. He needs two. He fills up these containers and contains them with the tears of his sorrow. Well, remember that Nephilim tears are bigger than human tears. That's right. We could probably and Nephilim, up to here. And Nephilim, in spite of what you might think, are just usually more sensitive and emotionally expressive than humans. Oh yeah, I mean, if you said, like, ha, that's silly what you did, they'd, they'd feel this stuff in like a second. Yeah. They were cry babies. Cry, cry, cry giants. giants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, if you ever need these, just because when you fail an essay, mm -hmm. and remember, these. with inflation, FCC and essays are very difficult now. That's right. So if you're getting about C's, I think you're getting F's now. Mm -hmm. Maybe like G's even. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be something. Buy one of these. Buy a backgammon set for you to cry your tears into. And. Hopefully you represent. <laughs> yes, you would be poop. <laughs> but you are. Have fun. And study well, my little brown chips. 
That's a wrap. That's a wrap.